That means I'm, that means I'm fucking. <laughs> Which I'm not. Right? How can you have AIDS if you're not fucking? You can't right. get AIDS if you're not fucking. Right. Well, if you eat needles. Yep. I don't, go, I don't got needles either. No. Toilet seats. That would suck to get AIDS from needles. Hugs. Hugs, yeah. You yeah. get them. <laughs> if you hug your gay uncle, <laughs> yeah. he gives you AIDs. Yeah, I read you that never somewhere. Get a chance. It's yeah. true. Matt looks like a gay uncle. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, because like he's, he, he, looks right. young, he looks young Guess when he's what? old. He looks yeah. like a gay stepdad. What's a gay stepdad? I watch gay porn. We talked about it. Yeah, we know. Frank watches gay porn. I, I watch twink porn. <laughs> but I want to be specific. I don't, you know, I don't like re- men who look like men. Yeah. He watches the hairless men. Yeah. yeah. You like like what Michael Jackson likes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's why he you're like, here. He likes six-year-olds. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It's, <laughs> how you doing? It's Tuesday night, and we're back for another. Uh, the show's got to come out tomorrow, and uh, so we're... <laughs> we're back again. We got, we're back again. You got to have Go more ahead. confidence with the introduction, because I've been listening to the show, and you're uh-huh. like, you like... You and, be, between you and him, you're like... Uh, we don't really like coming to each other's houses. We don't like doing the show. Really, you, you're not inspiring your audience. I literally yeah. just yes and Mike whatever he says. Yeah, but that when day. he's going on, when he's going into his negative things, you got to fucking bring him up. That's uh, what you're here for. What sure. do you mean negative things? You get you, you get very negative about. Is it. Frank here every week? No, uh, no. Oh, okay. I, I I invented the show. He's oh. he, he created the show. Yeah, yeah. I'm like Maybe the Gary Marshall of the show. We have the Godfathers here. Yeah, I came yeah, up with yeah, the name yeah. for it. He did name the show. Yeah, the original the, the original uh, premise was that they would go to female comics and offer them advice on life how advice. To like, how yeah. to? Like, oh, that'd be great. That's what I'm doing now with my show. Yeah, you right. are. Yeah, they come to my house. There's we had no Kelsey, way. We had Kelsey Kane on, but she didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't listen to that. <laughs> she a did single exactly word that we said. The opposite. Have you ever listened to my show? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you listen to my show, you'll know that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm beloved by the the women of this world. Are you? Yeah, they love me. Right. Yeah. Well, let me intro you guys. Uh, we got uh, some old wop and uh, some whore. <laughs> that's that's a pretty good way to put it. Yeah. She is a fucking whore. <laughs> Karen, a filthy one. Really? Um, but yeah, you, I guess. But, but, but you have a nice personality. Oh, yeah. Thanks. I, but I would definitely bag it up if I fucked you. Uh, we're, we're talking to... <laughs> Tupac. Frank, I would never fuck you. You would fuck me in a second. I would uh, literally rather die. Fucking please. You, you'd be like... I see, I'm better looking at half the guys you fuck. I would rather eat Oh yeah. Matter. Oh yeah. I would, I, oh, wait a minute. Let me change that. You, you definitely wouldn't fuck me. I'm, I'm a fucking Caucasian. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I fucked Caucasians recently. And I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Frank wins. Anyway, guys, uh, welcome back to the show. <laughs> um, I was like, I was this fucking filthy whore here. <laughs> you loved me 30 seconds I ago. Did. I did. Ch- I'm very fluid. We're talking about a subject that's very near and dear to my heart. We're talking about <laughs> Karen Fien's pussy. <laughs> yeah, Karen Fien's pussy. <laughs> welcome to the <laughs> yeah the organized crime aspect of it is. Let me get her back on my side. She yeah. is very sexy, isn't she? She's like a, she's a sexy animal. Isn't that true? Yeah, uh, I, think I don't you've know. Want her back? One, one me, of and, the best. me and Matt only have eyes for one 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 woman <laughs> yeah, each. Right. That, one that's woman. how you know it's not true at all. <laughs> is it Why? the same woman? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, the Matt's, said it. it's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's my mother. That's we both want to fuck the shit out of my mother. Ass, yeah, yeah. totally. Um, whatever. Yeah, Karen's got a nice body. Anyway, she, she so does, Michael uh, Jackson. It's more than nice. It's it's a it's hot, way above average. Thank you, Frank. Well, yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, I would agree. From an but I'm, a- I, yeah, I'm more wave. into like an innocent chick, you know? She's She hasn't been innocent since the Oh, ladies. right. Do you still have that young girlfriend? You had that uh, young... Oh, no. She's not innocent anymore. Right. Yeah. You fucking ruined her. She's been soiled by a 9-11 <laughs> souvenir <laughs> shop owner. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? That is so true. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was young, Well, no, right? she, she left Frank, and then I guess, you know, she couldn't... Fi- she, like... Most people... Uh, she went down the ladder and she started fucking this 50 year old guy who runs like a 9 11. She just you started showing she was, up with like a bunch of new. Young. You wish he was that young. She just had oh, a new keychain every day. He, he's 60. <laughs> yeah, he's, he sells never forget mugs <laughs> at Ground Zero. She says, anybody want a Bubbert sticker? <laughs> he, he, no, he it's not at Ground Zero. He calls himself the <laughs> official <laughs> photographer of 9 11. Oh, God. Frank's like, what do you see in this guy? And she's like, I don't know. He's funny. He's, he treats me well. <laughs> He's funny. He can't believe he somebody. He can't believe somebody doesn't. He doesn't pick through my trash. <laughs> I don't pick through anybody's he trash. <laughs> he doesn't follow me. He doesn't I lurk in the back anybody. of open mics. People follow yeah. me, baby. You guys were together for a while, right? Yes, a very long time. Yeah. I'm, I'm a very stable boyfriend. You should have married yeah. her. I don't want to marry her. I want, I'm going to marry somebody way better. Italian. I'm going to marry. Mm-hmm. Marry one of my own. Yeah, yeah. she had Damn, like one eyebrow, that? right? You got to stay with your own people. <laughs> anyway, she, 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 <laughs> don't mix. She looks like uh, a Renaissance fair puppet. Yeah, she looked kind of like Ernie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Karen. <laughs> Jesus. She's my favorite host. She's like a Muppet. Uh-huh. All right. I, I hope you're listening. A little, listening. little sexy Muppet. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, <laughs> so we're gonna talk about Michael Jackson. With, with we're gonna talk about the okay. Michael Jackson oh, documentary God. that was on the show. Now, so now, how does this? How does this fall into the? How does this fall under the umbrella of organized crime? Yeah. Does it? I mean, that, that, I corruption. think that's the. Well, I think that's the fundamental question: is that did Michael Jackson have other people like in on it, or was this just something that he kept to himself? Um, because you know, it if this happened like, now, he'd be he'd be in jail already. In the 90s, mm-hmm. you can get away with fucking kids in the ass. Now, they get you right away. They zap you. <laughs> Snapchat. Okay. Yeah. He, was, he was ahead of his time. Frank's going to pitch a 90s nostalgia show to like ABC. He's like, I still remember 1993 where you can get you know, with fucking a kid in the ass. Remember the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? How great yeah. was the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Uh, that was great. the best show. I wasn't allowed to watch it. Because um, of the darkies? <laughs> But yes. he was light skinned. Yes, Karen. I mean, that's not exactly what my parents said, but they. Uh, you know why? You know why Karen has sex with blacks and Puerto Ricans? Why? Because her grandfather hates blacks and Puerto Ricans, yeah. so uh, she's rebelling against grandpa. Yeah. Yep. Isn't you that think? true? He used to call them coloreds, though. He wouldn't say black. Or Karen's from Pl- uh, Plymouth Rock. I'm from Marshfield, which is near Plymouth. Frank, you know way too much about me. <laughs> well, I know you for seven years. No, can I tell you something? Before I knew Karen was a filthy whore, I saw her at an open mic. I thought she was, and you know, the, the lighting is very dark in there, so I thought she was stunning. Uh-huh. Shut I, no, the I, fuck I, 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 no. up. <laughs> No, you're very, you're, you're very pretty. I but know. But I, I uh, you know, I, at an open mic, nobody's there. I was like, wow, right. this goes fucking hot for a, a comic. Right, you know? hot for comedy. Yeah. Yeah. So she was just complaining the other day that she can't uh, find any guys. And uh, I don't know, you guys should, I don't know, go, go out, go out for a drink. Frank? No, Frank, yeah. no, no, no. You know, that was my grandfather's name, Frank. Isn't that interesting? Oh. <laughs> <brought> him up? <laughs> Frank is my stage name. Oh, what's your real name? Gerard. <laughs> Dolores. <laughs> All right, let's all take a break Focus. from from being horny and yeah. uh, let's talk about something I'm important. I'm really not here, horny right is, now. Maybe you're not? Either. Surprisingly. Hmm. Who are you trying to convince? You heard it here first, <laughs> folks. By the way, Mike. You heard you it here first. Mike, Frank's not horny. What? More, fe- yeah, yeah, more you, feedback? You, you need to, uh, uh, you be, you're being to watch your diet, man. You're getting, uh, you're getting out of control. No, he's all right. You're, oh. heavy. you're, you're, you're heavier since I saw you. You well, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I started. Uh, I did the intermittent fasting. I started losing some weight, yeah. and then so with that, you know, you eat in like an eight-hour window, right? So you can eat. You feel like you can eat whatever you want. Thanks for saying that on a podcast, by the way. Right. No one. Nobody would know. That's why I podcast. It's hurtful. Because my body's disgusting. <laughs> People will post pictures. People no, you will know, post pictures of he's like. He's got a beautiful. Yeah, he's got a beautiful girlfriend. Deborah's fucking beautiful. She is. Yeah, she's and getting he, fat he's too, like, what, Who do I have to impress? She's exactly. <laughs> Is you know Deborah's a fucking uh, she's a catch. She's, she's leave putting you. on some uh, weight. You need to, I don't you, think she will. You got to lock it, it down. If I were you, Frank's w- going to swoop yeah. in there. I would not. Couldn't have told me that. Couldn't have told me that off mic though. I would not let Deborah get away. Yeah. If I were you, yeah. I'm not. I don't, I'm not. He's not. Anyway, he loves her. people do that. They go. He here's said, here's on a the picture. ride here. He said he told me their bond was indestructible. It's indestructible. So people, cute. People go. Here's a here's a photo of Mike Racine doing. I tried to destroy it. Yeah. Just for fun. So how's your bond with yeah. Deborah? Karen, get your filthy pussy out of my it's, We're not even out of the parking lot yet. I got you an egg roll. Sorry. She really is. Disc- I, I think I want her out of my house. <laughs> anyway. Um, so the, the, so we watched the, the Michael Jackson documentary and, uh, one thing that Michael Jackson did was he sent, ca- he sent his camera crew to these kids' houses and had them like, you know, b- b- t- he had people tape the stuff and he, he had the kids dance mm-hmm. and, uh, it, they, they were like, I realized now that was like an audition process for me, for Michael to see if he wanted to fuck me. Right. I mean, that's like, th- 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 I mean, Michael Jackson's. Really, kind of like a top tier pedophile, right. I think. Right. I mean, he wasn't right? fucking because shitty dancers. No. You no. know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. I don't think Michael Jackson, uh, this has nothing to do with, with him fucking kids in the ass, but I don't think he was that talented. Oh. Interesting. I, I don't think, I think it's that's so, your starting place. I, 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 I think, yeah, his, I think his songs, <laughs> no. I don't like any of his songs. Mm-hmm. I like the Jackson Five, but he had nothing to do with that. That was the, you know, the house band. The, dad, the house yeah. band at Motown, <laughs> yeah. J- James Jameson, and all, you know, M- Quincy Jones produced thriller so if you're having a conflict and you really love michael jackson and you want to hear his music but you can't you know accept the fact that he was a pedophile just listen to the brothers johnson because mm-hmm. it was the same kind of music but those guys didn't fuck kids mm-hmm. so you know just a little side note that we know of right at least not good dancer ones michael jackson fuck kids brothers johnson no no kids will get fucked mm-hmm. you ever uh-huh. hear the brothers johnson strawberry no. letter 22 it's, yeah it's like a sticker on their album. Strawberry letter 22? <laughs> no kids were harmed okay. it was in the movie jackie brown when he shoots chris tucker in the, in the trunk okay the song that samuel jackson puts on the car okay strawberry letter the original version was by sugar otis you know sugar 
No. no. Mm-hmm. We're just so you guys much know, you guys are fucking That's good to know. What about uh, so let's let's <laughs> we should we should so do that. Let's younger. go around the table and just do like a, a pedophile alternative <laughs> to every, <laughs> every every celebrity who fucks kids. Yeah, we'll, if we'll Woody say, Allen you know, bothers you, just yeah, watch uh, Noah yeah. Baumbach. Okay. Noah Baum, yeah, that's a great. That's good. I, I got one for every pedophile. I don't. I don't <laughs> know. Noah Baumbach. He did Francis Ha, right? Yeah, such a good movie. Yeah. Who? Love okay. It. So who were the other pedophiles? Yeah. Uh, Sinatra Roma Polanski. Right. Polanski, so instead of. Watching Roman Polanski movies, uh, just go to Greenpoint and get a, a post sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I don't like. Pretty Roman. much the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of another post. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know Everybody goes, "Oh, you got to forgive him because his yeah. wife got killed and he was uh, his parents died in the Holocaust." Yeah. So so what? Then you fuck a twelve year old in the ass, and it's and you get and because of. All that trauma right, it makes you right. fuck twelve year olds in the ass. What if right. I want to watch uh, look, one of Dan Schneider's classics? Oh yeah, the his, Nickelodeon. His shows. shows are bad. Oh. Though. All that. What if I wanted to see Josh All that and Charles? Was Josh good. and Charles Keenan and Kel. <laughs> yeah, Keenan and Kel yeah. was a good show. What's, what are some alternatives? Yeah, what are some alternatives? He was also wasn't he on Head of the Class as an actor? Yeah, he was what? in. He, the, you ever seen the movie uh, Better Off Dead with John Cusack? He's in a lot of movies. He was in that movie Maybe. Yeah, as an actor. He was also in another movie ago. called yeah. uh, Making the Grade with with. Uh, Judd Nelson and Andrew Dice Clay. Mm. And he was also in The Big Picture with uh, Kevin Bacon. Okay. There you go. Nice. I just six degrees the pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need well, it. If you think of any, <laughs> it's like if you five think of, or four. If you think of any more pedophiles, uh, go ahead and go ahead and <laughs> shout it out. But I'm trying business. to think of female pedophiles. I don't know. Yeah. That's that doesn't count. We need representation. I think right. it's okay. Right. I think well, it's okay. That- Chick, Anthony Bourdain's chick. Uh-huh. She mm-hmm. was like kind of a pedophile, right? But right. I think he was like 16. Um, I think he was like, yeah, a teenager. Yeah, when yeah. I was 11 years old, I used to hand out Canarsie Couriers mm-hmm. in the train station for a quarter. Yeah. And some 40-year-old woman wanted me to come to her house. And I could tell she wanted me to you know, come to her house to fuck her. She wanted me to bring. And I got so scared I never went. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, what a pussy. <laughs> I, I was 11. <laughs> Bag. That would have fucking traumatized me. Yeah. Fucking a 40-year-old at 11. Got him, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm glad I didn't do that. Um, I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad but, I didn't fuck that old bag. I, went, <laughs> I still wouldn't fuck a 40 year old. <laughs> I wouldn't just, fuck a 40 year old. Then I won't fuck him now. Just yeah, picture 11 year old Frank saying that. You wouldn't fuck Fra- um, Kate Beckinsale? She's 43. <laughs> She's yeah. not that hot. You Pete know who's hotter than her? Basically you know who's hotter than Kate Beckinsale? The other girl. Ariana Grande. The other girl. <laughs> yeah. no, d- no, I don't like her. Larry David's daughter. Did you see The Last Days Cassie, of Disco? Cassie. Did you see The Last Days of Disco? I don't think so. Well, she was in that movie with Chloe Sevigny. Chloe Sevigny is gorgeous. Yeah. I don't like Kate Beckinsale. She's got like a rabbit face. I'd take Kate mm. over Chloe. Chloe's fucking gorgeous. I don't know. She's, she's not really my type. Oh, I love her. Mm. Chloe Sevigny, baby. She's all right. She's got kind of like a dumpy, downsy face. Oh, little. no. She's she got a... She looks kind of like She's mine. a thinking man's uh, pussy. She looks like she got her face got well, stuck in like a tube. Man's pussy. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do the objectification of women here. <laughs> a, all right. If right. you read, uh, this is the kind of girl that you should, that you should fuck. <laughs> you listen to TED Talks. Um, you know who's well, really into really Go ahead. Corey, uh, Corey... Corey Holcomb? Corey Feldman. Feldman. Yeah. He got oh, molested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. obsessed he with it. Yeah. Sometimes when you get molested, you become obsessed with it. He's obsessed with it. He wants to bring down Holly. Hollywood, right? He's like yeah. the Illuminati, and, then mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. and they He's said there's normal. somebody. Yeah, they, they said there's somebody in Hollywood who's like huge, like an A-list star who's like a pedophile. Yeah, yeah, all of them. Yeah, yeah. I just Tom hope Hanks. Hanks. You know, John Ford. <sighs> Tom Hanks. John Ford. He oh, made. Yeah. He made some of the great John Wayne films. Yeah, John yeah, Ford. Yeah. Well, who cares, man? Uh, they used to when, <laughs> when there was a time in Hollywood when every mother wanted their daughter to be Shirley Temple. Uh-huh. So the mothers would dress up their daughters and put the curl nine in their hair yeah. and bring them to John Ford's house, and he would fuck the little girls. And really? they based a the character on him in the book The Godfather. Really? Meanwhile, he was prejudiced against Sal Mineo for being Italian. He goes, I don't want this mm. guinea on my movie. Oh, yeah, meanwhile, you fucking little kids, you faggot. Wow. <laughs> well, girls, though. Exactly. He wasn't gay. He yeah. Was yeah. <laughs> let's not slander the guy, Frank. <laughs> let's not, let's yeah. not spread a bunch of false no. information. Yeah. On. Yeah. You are allowed to call a child molester anything you want. Yeah. yeah. He, he, word is allowed. he, he hated it. He loved little kids, but he hated Italians. <laughs> Well, can you blame him? <laughs> um, well, I'm glad we got two Michael Jackson experts here to talk about this stuff because <laughs> he's like an almanac. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, right. I don't think he's like, a good dancer. You don't, don't think? Of he's course, a good he's a good dancer. No, he's a good dancer. He's he invented a, popping Jesus. and locking. Can I tell? Yeah. No, he, he did not. He stole that shit. What, yeah. Can I tell you? John, John he's Travolta's such an average. I used to go to the Fun House. I used to go to the Roxy. I used to go to Xenos. I used to go to. So old. He. I used to go to all these clubs, and the kids were fucking amazing. What they would do. Then I saw Michael Jackson on Motown 46 or whatever the hell he was on. And everybody's like, Did you see Michael Jackson? I go, That's a tenth of what I see every weekend. Michael Jackson, mm. fucking average. So was fucking Chris Brown. Can't dance. Chris
Chris Brown is average dancer. Usher, Usher he's average dancer. a really dancer. good he's a chick beater, though. He's a great dancer, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm talking about, you, know, you know, some black people are very forgiving. <laughs> the one thing. Yeah. Black people to, forgive yeah. Michael Jackson. They forgive Chris Brown for beating the shit. They mm -hmm. forgive Dr. Dre. They're walking around with these Dre beats. Dr. Dre beat the Evan loving shit out of a bunch of women. Yeah, yeah. And everybody's buying his headphones. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who, do we, who do we have in our community that's like people have cast out? But Are you talking about Italians? Yeah. Okay. T.J. Miller? Is he Italian? No, but he beat a woman, didn't he? Yeah. He just he put a no, beer I mean bottle on her butt or whatever. That's yeah, not the nice. Italian community. But you don't do that. No, it's not. That's a disgraziata. Yeah. <laughs> disgraziata. <laughs> I'm saying, are there any Italians who are like the equivalent of like a Cosby no, Italians or Michael are good, Jackson? Italians are good people, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Frank, Frank Sinatra. I think you're that's, that's Frank, Frank Sinatra did so much for, for the blacks. <laughs> right. He did more than Martin Luther King for the blacks. He, he, helped, he did way oh, more. He did way more. Uh -huh. he, you know something? <laughs> They weren't gonna let they weren't gonna let Sammy Davis Jr. go go to the White House. Uh -huh. No, some, what was it? Some about Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah, he's like, if he doesn't go, I don't go. No, this is what happened. Uh, uh, at the Copacabana, mm -hmm. a guy was being racist to Sammy Davis Jr. and and he wouldn't let him in. Mm -hmm. Frank Sinatra came outside, knocked out the fucking bodyguard, and brought Sammy right in the Copa. And that was the first time a black person walked in the Copa. Mm. Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. Wow. So Frank Sinatra did more for a black than uh, <laughs> the, the ones that count. But Ella saying, Fitzgerald, yeah, Sammy Davis Jr. What are you gonna help out some guy in the store? Right. You know, how, you know, how about the big, sh the, the big people fish that you first? know, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Um, to affect change, right? Yeah, that's how you do it. Thank yeah. you, Matt. Matt sees the. the he sees yeah. what I so mean. you're saying that Sinatra <laughs> did more for blacks than Martin Luther King? <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Can't I, argue with that. Can I, you write that down? I, that's going to go on the episode. You know what? <laughs> that's, the, that's the episode you know description. Yeah. Because this, this yeah. is the first you're hearing about it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you don't hear people talking about Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. But everybody talking about Martin Luther King because he did it for his own fucking statue. Right. I don't trust those motherfuckers. Right. He was a fame whore, kind of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was cheating on his wife left and fucking right. He right. got assassinated. Yeah, but so what? He wasn't faithful to his wife. You yeah. should shoot people like that. Sinatra. You don't <laughs> always faithful <laughs> to whatever 15-year-old he was fucking. <laughs> Right. Like Sinatra loved Ava Gardner. He cried over her. Yeah. He carried around a picture of her in his wallet. Yeah. Right? I, I, let me tell you something. But was like he married to Mia Farrow? Mia Farrow. Briefly. Yeah. Mm. She wouldn't quit the movie business. So I said, you can't be married to me. Nice. You know, you need somebody who's around. You need somebody around, yeah, yeah. who's loyal. Um, anyway, <laughs> you know, the thing I want to talk about the most yeah. <laughs> is is uh, people go, ah, oh, Michael Jackson fucked the kids. But, like, there really is so much more to molestation than just fucking the kid. You have to, He's like. stealing their innocence. Right. Oh, but the but, seduction no, but, like, is what you're talking about. The seduction and, like, the, the this, this ruse. Yeah, this ruse that you create, this whole world, this narrative it's that you, like, challenging. tell their parents. No, you have I to, didn't like... say it was challenging. <laughs> First of all, it probably is challenging. <laughs> It's so, uh, easy. it's so yeah. easy. To, it's so My easy. Frankly, it's so easy. He's a bucks. bad dancer. I mean, now he's bad are, at courting kids. I don't think it is challenging. I fall in love with like every puppy I pick up. Yeah. You know, it's, it's probably so, the same it thing. It's so easy to <laughs> suggest. He's like, oh, I'd love to walk your dog. Bring him to my house. Bring him to my bring him to my room. I'm and bringing like, the dogs here. You yeah, don't need yeah. your mom anymore. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to watch him when you guys are on vacation. By the way, peanut butter right on your fucking twat. It's 20 degrees out in New York City. Mm -hmm. yeah. I walked yeah. uh, 20, 20 minutes to get here. All of a sudden, Michael, I got to go pick up Kieran door to door. I, uh, yes. And I, sh I should put my ass out on Instagram. Listen, <laughs> I should have offered, get you kicked I off offered go to, you a go ride. Go to Kieran's Instagram. She's naked on every photo. <laughs> Go I'm, I'm good. My Instagram. followers up are up. I'm good. Yeah, go check. Your is shout out's really going to change my fucking trajectory, <laughs> Frank. At, at Karen's <laughs> Labio. <on Instagram. laughs> That's the, yeah. Her ass is like a solid nine. When you say on a scale from one to nine, uh, I don't want to comment on that. Because she's skinny and she has a big ass. That's right. That's a good ratio. That's a good ratio. That's Italian for a rat. I don't think it's healthy to <laughs> flirt with other. <laughs> I'm not flirting with her. <laughs> flirt we with already other established. Women. We need a when little. But he's in a committed relationship. This is a public Can podcast. I tell you it's yeah. disrespectful Can I tell you to his yeah, girlfriend. I, I am currently interested in someone. Yeah. And even when I'm, even when I have a crush on somebody, um, I have tunnel vision. Uh -huh. I don't. I, I'm like, no, this is who I like. Yeah. So until she fucking uh, disappoints me. I won't be flirting with anybody. Have else. you have you uh, taken her out yet? Does she know how you feel? I'm gonna see you soon. Nice. I don't want to talk about it on the. I'll tell you after. All right. Cool. What Starbucks does she work at? <laughs> I think she listens to the show. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure yeah. she listens to the show. Okay. All right. Well, everybody wish our boy good luck. <laughs> I don't need good luck. Please Let me tell you something. Yeah. And if if you think you are that woman, please write into this show. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> because we want to know who you please are. Please Venmo Frank Terranova <laughs> so you can take this woman to the Olive Garden. <laughs> if a man who wears a tracksuit every day keeps leaving you 25 cent tips with a heart. Over it. Let me tell you something. My wardrobe. My, I just got a. I just ordered a brand new Sergio Takini. Yeah. 
but I'm not opening it until I go on vacation. Nice. I'm going to the UK in May, yeah. and then that's when I wear it for the first time. I also got I Hugo think, Boss don't drawers. You, don't you think tracksuits are a little goofy, though? They're, they're, no, they're, they're not. They're, they're a little fucking, ostentatious. I get a lot of compliments. Yeah. yeah. I I'm just a, don't understand why you need your your jacket to match the pants. I don't. I, I only wear the top. I don't wear the pants. No, yeah, oh, I okay. didn't really. He just has a really yeah. dark denim on. Yeah, that's a good look. I guess. That's, that's, but you the, know, full, the full have track a suit, I think, is a little much. I'm very much. aware of, I think it's a little of, much. Of, of my my brand and uh-huh. what I'm selling on stage as a stand-up comedian. Right. When I become a big comic, I'm going to wear a solid white track suit. Do you remember when Steve <laughs> Martin wore mm-hmm. a white suit? You yeah. know why? Because he performed the big arenas and he, you could see white from far away. Right. I'm going to get Sergio Tacchini. I'm going to call him. He's still alive, by the way. Nice. He was a tennis star from, uh, I think, Sicily or something. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I'm going to make Nobody him design an all-white <laughs> track suit for me. And I, that's what I'm going to wear when I play Nassau Coliseum. The fuck is so funny? <laughs> Your delusions. <laughs> At least I believe in myself. That's yeah. right. No, that's true. Um, so the thing about Michael Jackson was that he. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with believing in yourself? Nothing. Nothing. I believe in you too. You're Thank you're, you. you're great. You think me. I'm you're, funny, right? I do. I do. I'm a big fan talking, of racism, though. I was, I was just, I was just saying nice things about your name came up on my podcast. Did it? And I, and and me and the person who were talking about it, you said all nice. Who's the person? Oh, the other Karen. But Margolis? Who I was flirting with. Oh yeah, she's she's a hot Jew. Oh Jesus Christ. Tight ass on that one. She is uh she's one of my faves. Yeah. She's yeah. good. She's good. She's probably has a really That's tight what the pussy. whole episode was about. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> what? Karen. <laughs> that I think she's hot. That was the whole yeah. episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She is. Um, she's really nice. Back though. to Michael. Back to the organization of the crime. Well, it's just funny because it's like you watch, <laughs> you know, you watch the documentary and it's like he like seduced the kid. They hung out. They held hands. They he bought him toys. He gave him money. And right. it's like it was almost like it was like a ro- it was a very romantic relationship. I, th- they were a hot couple. Him and Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is sort of like a hot lesbian couple, yeah. you know, with like, like those pouty lips. And I'm yeah. like, I'm like, he loves Michael, too. I, I mean, remember, I was wrapped up in it. I was kind of like, maybe they were in love. <laughs> it sounds like they were. Both yeah, of them. yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, yeah. I like when they it, got older. When they got oh, older. good. Frank's eating his protein cookie. You fucking <laughs> like you monster. Could, you could have, well, you can't Christ. hear it, but it sounds like do you're it. talking <laughs> through. What? I'm, I'm, I'm working on the podcast. So I'm having a snack. <laughs> You can't hear it, but it sounds <laughs> awful. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to sound that bad when it comes out. All right. Well, thanks. Then we'll fix right. it in the post. <laughs> yeah, I'll fix it. I can't go a long time without food in my stomach because I have acid reflux. Did you bring an mm. Ensure to wash that down? <laughs> no, I have water from the sink. <laughs> you guys are mean. <laughs> well, he's got to use it when he takes his pill. Karen Fian is the um, meanest cunt. Oh. She really, yeah, she really is. <laughs> She's nasty. You're, you're, you're yeah, woman. yeah, yeah. You're a me- What's your sign? Yeah. Marys? I'm a Taurus. Yeah. Well, she hosted a along? show. She hosted a show I did the other night, and she had a massive camel toe. She's wearing these sweatpants, <laughs> and I wanted to like say something about it, and I wanted to be like, "Hey, maybe if like you had any friends, they would tell you that your pussy showing." <laughs> like I, I said like, something about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. The first thing I said was, "Sorry oh, okay. about my huge camel toe." But then, but then I was like, "People are gonna, people are gonna think <laughs> I'm mean, even because they, they don't know." Right. A fucking dirtbag, Karen. <laughs> you you said fuck? I was gonna die from cancer. You were mean. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you smoke cigarettes. What did I say though? Well, oh, not really. No, because she has a joke. My attitude Actually, she had a funny joke where she goes, uh, "I have small tits, uh, not not big enough for cancer, though." <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and I go, "Yeah, she'll get some other kind of cancer." <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, yeah. You can't oh, have that mean. personality yeah, without getting cancer. There it is. Anyway, um, I do look forward to like being at a retirement home with a few of you people. You know? oh, that'd I hope, be fun. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, can we coordinate oh, that? Can we get, that? Nice can we get yeah. our kids to you're coordinate? St- you're that? still gonna look like twenty seven. <laughs> yeah, you're dude. still gonna look like a boy when you're. You're when gonna you're have 72. to wipe our asses. <laughs> <laughs> the youngest looking guy, the guy who gets the most <laughs> pussy. Yeah, they just draw straws Shelby's and a, make the people that live there do it. Yeah. Shelby's a vegetable, but he's still with her, but he's cheating on her all the time. <laughs> That's mean. Oh, you're women. Shelby's boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, yeah. cute. Uh, aren't you yeah. moving? Yeah, we're we eventually. Not oh. to a nursing home. I, but you're moving like this year, right? Uh, end of this year. What are what the are thrilling you, are you, talking points? Who's going to replace uh, Matt? What? Um, That's great. Oh, I moving? don't know. Oh. Oh, I don't know. You know who you should hire? Yeah, yeah, Mateo. Yeah. Pascal? He's very reliable and he knows what he's doing. Is he? Yeah, he'll show up every t- on time, every fucking time. If you text him, he'll write you back in 15 seconds and he'll do all this shit perfectly. <laughs> oh, he might get on your nerves, though. But yeah. you, you you have an autistic brother, so you're used to it. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Who's more autistic, Mateo or your brother? Oh, my brother. Really? Yeah. More than Mateo? My brother's like nonverbal. He couldn't do a stand up? I don't think so. No. Mateo does stand up. My brother doesn't talk. You know, Mateo's not bad at stand up. Yep. Well, nice. All right. 
Well, he had Johnny Cochran, right? As a lawyer. He had Johnny Cochran as a lawyer. You know, like that's yeah. organizing crime. <laughs> you think yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, seriously though, the, the amount of people that the, the, the other lawyer, like like the, the later case, like the white guy that was like real aggressive, he's like, we were gonna come down on you like a hammer. Yeah, you say all this shit. He was like really protecting him. Yeah. Do you think there's anybody was, in the history of show business as weird as Michael Jackson? Even forgetting uh, about the case. That's a good question. Who's Ma- weirder than him? Liza him? Minnelli. No. Frank watches the Michael Jackson documentary. He's like, well, you mean he was a fan? Right, right, right. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just misses the whole point. He's weirder than Andy Warhol. <laughs> Uh huh. Was Andy Warhol that weird? Yeah, he was very weird. He okay. was asexual. Yeah, I thought he was uh, bisexual. No, he was asexual. Okay, he used to stand in the corner and watch everybody. Mm. He was a genius, though. He contributed to the culture. Mm. Fucking Michael Jackson contributed shit. Fucking Andy Warhol produced the fucking. You know, there's a uh, the Velvet Underground. This which is going to be like the, the most offensive thing that's said. The Velvet Underground. <laughs> saying that Michael Jackson Velvet can't Velvet Underground dance. is the most important band in the history of indie rock. Mm-hmm. And you know what the album said? Mm. Andy Warhol. That's all it said on the album. Because Andy mm-hmm. Warhol was a fucking genius. Mm-hmm. Every time David Bowie reinvented himself, mm-hmm. he asked uh, Dave, uh, Andy Warhol, what should I do? Andy Warhol was like, I think you should call yourself Ziggy Stardust. He goes, thank you, Andy. Really? And he told them, he told everybody what to do. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What was his like... Uh, he was a painter. Getting... Yeah. No, I know. But was that primarily the medium that he worked in? Yeah. Yeah. He made movies, too. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. What was the, the ones with the eyebrows and the thing? <laughs> Remember? With the guy with the eyebrows and he shaved his head. He was like Andy Warhol's thing, muse or like. Oh, dude, yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. That guy's dead, Twiggy, right? too. Remember? Uh, yeah, he liked a lot of people. He used to have screen tests. If he thought you were weird, he would be like, come over and take a screen test. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, he would have Madden. That's Matt, the one Matt? thing he had in common with Michael. <laughs> I want to be Jackson. like, what do you got against Michael Jackson where you keep yeah, diverting the That's what I want to know, too. <laughs> but he like I'm trying children. to make sure the podcast is interesting. Michael Jackson's not that interesting. <laughs> okay. He was a fucking weirdo. Was, uh, you know, he fucked kids and uh, we want to make this funny, right? Yeah. What about the what about the time he dangled that baby over the balcony? Right. Come on, that's right. insane. You could t- you could make an entire episode on him dangling his child you know, named you know, you know blanket you know yeah. over a balcony. That's true. I love Cher. I love Cher. Uh huh. <laughs> I saw an old episode of, of Letterman the other night on YouTube. Right. What a fucking beautiful woman. Still? Just the right amount of plastic surgery, not too much. Yeah. She's very irreverent. She's like seventy. I love. I would have sex with her. Mm. Really? Yeah. Earlier, you said you wouldn't have sex with a 40 year old. Yeah. So it's a 41 year old is good. <laughs> share. 41 and up. Share at any age. Just share. Yeah. I love share. I love tan share. She was like younger. I love all Let share. me ask you this, Frank. What What is the what is the compulsion for people to like rush to the defense of, uh, you know, people like Michael Jackson and Bill Cosby? Because on, on Facebook, there was a lot of. A lot I, of black I did people, see. Right? Okay. Yes. I mean, but they, I did they, see. They think it's racist because we're saying he, if, if a right. white person is slamming Bill Cosby, they think it's racist. No, we're not slamming Bill Cosby. Was slamming the fact that he raped forty women. Right. And I, well, I admit, right, the he, show was very good. I love Fat Albert. Mm-hmm. You know, hey. I'll still watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Some guy. Some guy sort of wrote like a long post. I don't know if he shared a a meme or something. But, but here's the thing. Anyway, yeah. Cosby has been fucking excommunicated. Mm-hmm. He's not in syndication. Right. You go to any store, you hear fucking beat it. Mm-hmm. I hear fucking. I hear Billy Jean well, everywhere. Well, now you do. Now, I mean, the documentary's only a few days old. Right. right. I think give it a, give it a second. I think it's gonna. Can I tell you something? Turn. He was such a fucking thief. Quincy Jones said Michael Jackson stole every song from somebody else. The song really? Billy Jean. Yeah. yeah. That's a fucking Hall and Oates song. Yeah. Say it isn't so. Really. Right. Yeah. And that's about getting somebody pregnant. No, it's not. Not the theme. The music. N- not mm-hmm. the lyrics. Oh, okay. The melody. Oh, interesting. Daryl Hall was a fucking black man in a white white person's outfit. Yeah. Yeah. He's so black. Yeah, I like Hall and Oates. I love them. Okay. Oh my gosh, you want to go to concert? No. <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna do? Finger pop? You want to fucking stand? Finger pop? <laughs> Whatever you call Since it. Since when? It's the pop. What do you think you're popping? You're popping your whole. Uh, oh, it's I forgot, been I forgot, popped. I forgot it's so big. I need fucking eight fingers. No, my vagina is very small. Oh please, would you have surgery? No, I was like born, a Dominican. I was born with it shut, actually. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the interesting thing to me about uh, it's called vaginal fusion. You can't be nice to Karen. Well, no, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. She's like a she's I'm like not a, be nice she's to a her. hyena. I'm not gonna be nice to her. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a waste of niceness. I'll be nice to girls with design. I feel like she respects uh-huh. you if you're mean to her. No, no, I'm not. seeing a lot of back and forth. Mm-hmm. You know, Karen just likes to watch things burn. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, she's Irish. I hate Irish people. Why? Yeah, I kind of. They're, they're like the white trash at Eastern Seaboard. Oh really? They're the worst people. They're the, they're the worst white people. No. Yeah. Without a doubt. What about the Jews? Yeah. I like Jews. What about poors? Yeah. Jews are sexier than Irish poors. people. <laughs> yeah. Poor, oh, what, not, yeah, like white not trash. Not in the yeah. face. <laughs> in the, in the body. Maybe. Jews, yeah, are, Jews have huge tits. Jews are good at giving head. 
That's just an act, though. That's not like a, a like a physical attribute. Well, I that's a skill that could keep a guy around for a while. Right. I had a palate expander. What does that mean? You, you look like you, you hate doing it. Speaking of no, us. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Right, let's can we get off? Do you me? do it out of uh? Do you do it out of uh? Just because you feel love. Like, yeah, love. Yeah, and you I, I, I I had a girl that didn't like give me head, right? Uh-huh. I could tell. Yeah. She would do it all the time, but I could tell like she was half into it. Mm-hmm. I go, do you like doing it? She goes, no. I said, what are you doing it for? She goes, because you like it. I said, don't do me any fucking favors. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so getting espresso at Starbucks. You ever get espresso at Starbucks? You wish you didn't get it. Yeah. It sucks. Really? Yeah. Does yeah. that affects you that much. You won't just take a Hummer? You guys just, what, how do you when guys When you've know? had great head, I've had great head. I've dated black women. Right. And when, when, you, when you've had great head, and, <laughs> and I, I, you, know, you know when a girl's a good head? When she asks if she could do it. Yeah. If she initiates it. Right. Like, mm-hmm. look at this. Right. It's a free espresso. <laughs> it's like 18th <laughs> Avenue espresso. Right. What's that? What's I, I really like head. You know, some guys don't give you. I have What's friends. 18th Avenue express, espresso? It's the best espresso. Oh. But I'm, I'm like. It's in, where is it? In Brooklyn? <laughs> yeah. yeah fucking this I didn't even know there were 18 avenues. <laughs> yeah. I uh, have a friend who can live, leave or take head. I said, what's it? What are you fucking nuts? Uh-huh. Mm. Um. Anyway, oh, Michael Jackson. You know, well, really well, loved what I wanted to say. Yeah, you know who loved. <laughs> you know who loved. <laughs> Gen- I, I, genuinely I, loved getting. I also want to say on a trampoline. Uh, <laughs> I also enjoy. I, I enjoy giving to to you know. I'm, oh I'm, my you God. enjoy giving oral sex. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I'm an oral. I'm an oral man. Mm. Uh, Very oral. Yeah. So yeah. I talk a lot. You have no right. lips. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> your lips are on the inside of your mouth. <laughs> your lips are way smaller than mine. No, they're not. You got fucking. Mm. White girl I gotta lips. go. I'm I gotta a white say, girl. Yeah. When, when, yeah, when, when, when say Karen, Frank's when, got smaller lips. When Karen is is blowing a guy in a car, mm-hmm. the cum gets all over the seats because it seeps out of those tiny fucking pencil thin lips. Stop following me around, Frank. <laughs> Get it out. <laughs> I like her because she can take it. Yeah, that's what I like about it. Right. It's well, the bit. funny thing about <laughs> the funny thing about molestation is it seems like it's. <laughs> It's so much more than just fucking the kid. People go, "Oh, Michael Jackson fucked kids," right. but it's like, what he he did so much more than that. He 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 made sure their parents weren't there. He right. made sure the the door. He ran drills with the kids. And he was had like, relationships put on your with them, and then cheated on them cheated with on other them. in front yeah. of them. I mean, think about how much that would like oh, fuck you up, like yeah. fucked up, hurt yeah. your feelings. Mm-hmm. Like like yeah. he he hurt, he really like had these emotional yeah. relationships. Colin Jost has a new opener. I'm, I'm not over it. <laughs> You shouldn't be. That sucks. Who is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You see know, Colin and his new Pete opener Davidson? in the bathroom together, and you know what they're doing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You get jealous of that, dude. Well, Rich Voss traded me in for Katie Hannigan, so I mean. Well, ugh. I think that just happened. Ugh. I know. I'm just kidding. Just Jesus laugh. Christ. What? She's fucking sucks at comedy. She's great. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Moving I think forward. She is not good at stand up comedy. Yes, she is. I think she's oh, moving. get the she's, fuck out of here. Fine. Forward. Very few women are good at it. <laughs> well, all right. Okay. That's a good You'll point. give him that. That's a valid point. Anyway, guys, <laughs> let's not get off topic. Come on. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I felt bad for Jimmy. I, wait, do you guys think you fucked Macaulay? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I he's think that like, denied. Dude, I yeah. think there might have been some boys that he didn't fuck. Well, the like thing is, cover, like, when you're when you're saying, a fucking yeah. when you're a fucking dirt bag, you need a few women that you don't fuck, right? You know, so that they can. Those so are that, the ones he married. Yeah, <laughs> but no, yeah, he yeah, got yeah. he he pregnated them. Or what the second one, right? No, oh, they, they bought the, those kids. Oh, are not, they bought them. They're not biologically related. To oh, him. really? I thought the, she like, got pregnant. Didn't, didn't she try to kill herself? The little girl, Paris. Oh, maybe. Probably. I mean. Which one died? Bobby the, Bobby Brown Simpson, right? Yeah, in a bathtub. That's Whitney Houston. So she was clean. <laughs> Bobby Brown is still kicking. He's like he's like he's like Keith Richards. He's just like he's still oh, kicking, totally. Yeah. He's the black Keith Richards. <laughs> he's the black Keith Richards. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Talented um, guy. I like him. Yeah. Yeah, but no, but she the, was a dyke anyway. What the hell? She married Bobby. Who Brown? was a dyke? Whitney Fucking Houston. Whitney Houston. Yeah. Why was she married to Bobby Brown? Just to make a mother happy? You think she was a dyke? She said, "You know what? My it mother doesn't like gay people. So to make her happy, I'm gonna marry a crackhead." She said that. That's what she said. Oh. My mother doesn't like gay people. Somebody showed me a meme. It was Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. It said, all crack aside, I'm trying to be this happy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they really loved each other. Uh, they were just high all the time. I guess they were just high on crack mm-hmm. all the time. Anyway. Um, well, yeah. Like, I guess, like, the question for me is, like, were, were there other adults that were in on it? Do you think they were people who, like... The parents are enablers for dropping the kids off. Um, yeah. But also, he really, like, ingratiated himself yeah. to the parents. I mean, he was like... Uh, nobody wants to be my friend. Right. You guys are my friend. My mother would have never cool left. Like, can I tell you something? Yeah. My yeah. mother would have never left me with Michael Jackson. My no, mother would have been like, my, mo- my mother would have been like, this spook is up to something. <laughs> 
Yeah. I don't like him. He, look yeah. at him. Added how hard I laughed right. at that. And, uh, and, uh, and I miss you every day, mom. I love my mom. I know. I think my mom wouldn't either. That Australian bitch was all about the fame. Like, yeah, she didn't she wait. Was. She was like, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. like, here, yeah. take my kid for some earrings. Yeah. I don't fucking care. She was looking for yeah. a way out with oh, her husband. Yeah. yeah. Her bipolar diagnosis. Right. Here's the other thing, too. How do you, okay, so how do you say no to Michael Jackson when Michael Jackson wants to hang out with your kid and spend the night with your kid? Right. Because th- th- there was a moment in the documentary when the, the, um, the Australian lady was like, I, I said, Michael, I don't know. I said, no. Right. She said, no. no. You can't well, blow he, my son. Right. <laughs> well, Michael Jackson was also like, my son, oh, Michael. No. Can, I, can you leave your seven-year-old son yeah. with me for a year? Yeah. yeah a for, year. Yeah. 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 So just leave him here until he's eight. Mm-hmm. What? Just like he'll go to first grade here And then something. what happens when he pees his pants? Right. And to, I, that's the other thing about pedophiles. <laughs> you got to give them some credit because they have to be around kids. You know what else he did that's really, really, really uh, go terrible? Ahead, just talk right over the... He, he raised that chimpanzee you should never raise a chimpanzee they take a chimpanzee away from his mother it goes crazy that chimpanzee that they don't know what to do with it it's so fucking mm. uh it's not uh what's what's the word like when yeah. you make somebody normal you're more abnormal. worried about the chimpanzee I'm than the choreographer the, <laughs> the chimpanzee man that bubbles the chimp let's not forget about the, the, the victims the here aren't victim. talked about <laughs> that chimp is fucking crazy they gotta have it locked up really you can't teach the chimp to go back and being a chimp now yeah it's a, it's a whole thing. I read about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. That, remember that one ate that lady's face off? Yeah, good for her. Oh, she should have yeah. left him alone. Then they did a they did a facial reconstruction. Oh my god! Like, How'd oh they make god. it worse? She <laughs> was, she, <laughs> do you think you can maybe just uh, <laughs> give me my old face yeah, back? Yeah, I want to go back. <laughs> it was ripped up by a monkey. Oh she actually she, she looks like Pac Man. Yeah. She looks like, she looks like a chimp now. Yeah, yeah. she like paid ten grand. She looks like a Jason. Just get a spider. Oh. <laughs> I, I knew somebody. Oh, they're like, oh, I thought you wanted to like I thought you wanted to look like Kirby from. You can get a spider monkey. Little there are monkeys you can have like a spider monkey. But you know what they do? They throw their shit at you. They like they they shit in him. They throw it at you. Okay. That's funny. Yeah. yeah, I had a joke about that. I, I was gonna, I was gonna roast a black comic, and uh-huh. I was gonna say that uh, she flung a shit at me. <laughs> yeah. That's funny, Frank. <laughs> when you when you become a big comic, what are some wild animals you could see yourself having? Let's say <laughs> right. any, yeah, any yeah, yeah. What exotic animals? I want only exotic animals because it's cruel. Yeah, it's really. cruel to exotic. Animals. I just want dogs. Yeah, that's it. Just dogs. I would to go. Fight? I would no. do maybe. I would <laughs> like. Puerto Rican. I would like to have your ex boyfriend. That's black. Too, I though. would like to maybe have a giraffe. Okay. It'd be fun. Yeah. You know? Where are you going to put you it? like Pablo Escobar money. You just get a big yard. I don't know. Okay. You have an invisible fence. <laughs> well, like an electric fence? Yeah. Aw. <laughs> But it's just big. one it's giraffe. Of, uh, yeah, maybe. I feel like they need like a buddy. Like get a it like a llama to like hang out with. Mm, it's probably yeah. different climates. You can't have a giraffe. <laughs> I'm vetoing okay. it. He had a giraffe. <laughs> Michael Jackson had a giraffe. Yeah, he had, yeah. Because he would lived in California. Who, who's taking care of that house? Now? I don't know. It's Matt the, looked it up actually. It's worth like seven million or something. It's That's worth it? the sixty seven million right now. What about the <laughs> Dude, who would so want to buy that? <laughs> I know. Yeah. No, God. So, no, where, where are you going? I thought, <laughs> I thought that was a sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought someone was gonna buy this molestation palace. <laughs> Real turns yeah, like if these just... walls could talk. Oh yeah. man. Creepy. Yeah. Um, so, so let me ask you this, Frank and Karen. What, what do you think of the idea when people go, oh, he just wasn't normal. He wasn't a child. He was a child himself. I, I mean, first of all, kids don't really fuck each other. Kids don't. They play with ha- each other. Yeah, they, they play, play with each other, but there's not, there's not, they don't, they don't run drills where they're like, practice, <laughs> yeah. practice, practice putting your clothes back <laughs> yeah, on yeah, yeah, just yeah, in yeah. case the adults come in because we'll no. both go to jail. Yeah, what yeah, you're yeah, pointing you know. out and all the coaching, like coaching the kids to lie. There was definitely and that, an awareness yeah. that he knew what That's was going Yes, that's pure evil. In the serializedness, where he just went from boy to boy, yes. like every twelve months there was a new, a new top boy. Right. bitch. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I keep thinking about your system where you like you want to have like women, you know, and you have your. <laughs> don't say that too loud because Deborah's home. <laughs> I was just thinking. All right, anyway. Guys, tune into our Patreon for, for, for some content that we're yeah. going to record in my backyard about uh, my yeah. Um, we turn on the sprinklers. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, I think he was um I think he was sick. I think he was a he we all know he was abused, right? Growing up, like physically. He was physically abused. Yeah. Do you uh, think he was was he sexually abused? I don't think his Maybe dad not. was gay like that. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his dad wasn't so fucking queer. You know, Chad uh, <laughs> say what you want about Joe Jackson. He wasn't some fucking all <laughs> uh, Diana Ross fucking. caught Michael Jackson putting on her makeup. Oh yeah? yeah. A lot of people though, I mean, but like it seems but, like everybody, because I remember like early 2000s, it was still kind of up in the air whether he, it was like an is he or not, like a pedophile thing. Right. And, there were, and, 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 and there were people who like 
made convincing arguments on both. People were just like, oh, he's just a weirdo. Right. Paul, Paul Mooney would get on stage and be like, Michael Jackson's X-Files, but he's not a pedophile. Mm. And, uh, you know, Liz Taylor defended him. So it seems yeah, like she's everybody. She's what? She was real stable. Yeah. Fucking lunatic. Really? And she's another one. That's why they related to each other. Uh-huh. They're both fucking lunatics. Yeah. 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 You, you know, in, in, his like will, us, right? in his will, in his will, I don't. We're fuck pretty kid, grounded. I don't fuck kids that wear makeup. Uh huh. Yeah, in in, in, in you his don't will, fuck kids that wear makeup. You know. Yeah. The second thing didn't sound bad. In <laughs> his will, he said, "If anything happens to me, I want my kids to be raised by Diana Ross." He didn't say his his parents or anything. Mm -hmm. He left the kids to Diana Ross. Uh, that's yeah, how little, and another lady. That's how she well. already have like like fifty kids or something. She's yeah. like kids. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. She has <laughs> he loves Diana Ross. He like that. That's like he he he, he loves her. She was very nurturing. I guess so. Mm. She was beautiful too. Yeah. yeah. You know, we always just thought he was like a creep, you know, like yeah. growing up. It's like, oh, we, we, we always he, thought was he was like a weirdo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's just I, weird. I, I, I was kind of wondered like what, what was that? Just, just him yeah, turning white? Just, you know, I was like, right. maybe that's my prejudice. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I know. I always thought he, my family, we would be like, he's kind of a freak. You know, he's bleaching his skin. He shaved his nose down. Like my mom was like, this guy's a freak. Mm. You know who's a freak? Yeah. Laura Flynn Boyle. <laughs> she's so weird looking. They, could, they couldn't put her on the reboot of Twin Peaks. She doesn't look like a human. She really? started early with that. She had a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work done too much, yeah, she mm. and she was cute. beautiful. It's a shame. Be cute. I I watch women. I'm watching women like my age, and they're starting to get work done. Yeah, and they yeah. just like, but it just every, it never looks better. It, it's like never why can't better, the doctor yeah. say no sometimes? Because <laughs> they pay them money, <laughs> right? That's our thirty year olds are getting well, Botox. It's so silly. It is silly, but yeah, you'll see like somebody like there's a girl I follow on Instagram, and like she got her like jaw reconstructed, and then she looked different, and then she got like a lip implant. So like I've seen her be like three, three different, different people. people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna get lip injections after Frank called my lips small. You started it. <laughs> I do. Who I do have to say, Frank's got smaller lips than Karen. <laughs> Uh, bitch. Since, since we're gonna body shame everybody, this, why would I, why, why would I want to have episode. big lips? Well, who the fuck wants big lips? That's not a good look. It's disgusting. When you're motorboating your ladies uh, out downstairs, out I know I, I fucking satisfy my. That's bitches. what I call it. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Girls like the way I throw, <laughs> throw joints in the fucking sack. I'm getting lip injections. Um, yeah, my I don't know. Do you? What now? What about the argument? What are you? Thirty-five. Yep. What about the argument? Are you? Yep. You look good. I know. She does, right? Yeah. What about the argument that this Wade guy is just, now that he's dead, right? Because uh -huh. he's testified a zillion times. Because, like, yeah. this little glimmer, I mean, it, like, piqued my interest. Like, what if he is just fucking coming for the money? What if he's, what like, because he sued it, it, him. He tried to sue Michael Jackson. Yeah. The estate. You know mm -hmm. something? When, when, when you don't have something done to you and you say you had something done to you, mm -hmm. there should be a criminal penalty. Like if you weren't Usually molested there is. And, and you accuse somebody of molestation, that yeah. person, if they found that they're lying, should go to jail. Right. But because it's a shame happen? because molestation is a serious offense. Right. And, ah. and, 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 you know, but it's I, 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 thought, I, but I think him. false accusations are pretty rare. Yeah. Are they? Are they like less than 2%? Right. I don't believe Mia Farrow. Although I, I don't believe that Woody Allen molested his daughter. I believe that Mia Farrow is uh, just up. getting vendetta. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's I believe a little that. nuts. I don't believe that Woody Allen molested his daughter. Huh. I really don't. Well, Mia Farrow did have two kids kill themselves. Mia Farrow's a lunatic. Yeah. Did she? I didn't know that. Believe me, a lot of yeah. people in Hollywood believe Woody. Really? And no, but he's never been charged. He's like their Louis. No, he's just, he's innocent. <laughs> Louis fucking... Uh, the guy we love that we no, all... I don't love... Uh, Louis ch tried to uh, hurt women's careers. That yeah. wasn't nice. Yeah. Dave Becky shouldn't be allowed to manage anybody. Yeah. How the fuck... Why is Dave Becky still in business? Yeah. Um, and I, shame I on Amy Poehler for I... still fucking having that as our manager. Wait, Amy mm -hmm. Poehler's not a feminist. Mm -hmm. What what I heard was that Dave Becky was like, "Oh, you know, don't let's not talk about this. Like, don't talk about that publicly." The guy's married. I don't think anybody's career was anybody's career threatened. Yeah, he said, "Listen, if if you do this, uh, you'll never work again, or something." Oh yeah, that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. That's what female comics tell me. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Well, I guess we'll never know. Is it true? I don't know. All we know is that Louis very funny, and I <laughs> wish I could enjoy <laughs> I his something? comedy once Can again. I, tell you something? I, ne <laughs> I never thought he was funny. I never thought he was funny. And I hope that yeah. Parkland bits in his next special. So, <laughs> so you heard it here, folks. Yeah. Oh, Michael Jackson can't dance. <laughs> Louis not funny. Uh, Sinatra did more for the blacks <laughs> than, than Martin Luther King. That's right. I don't think Louis funny. You don't think he's funny? No. I, I think that's. I don't know. I don't think he's funny, and he never made me laugh ever. Mm. And his show was a fucking rip off of The Sopranos. People can have right. differences of opinion. Right. His show was a rip off of Sopranos? Yeah, he ripped off The Sopranos so much on that show. Yeah. With those dream sequences. Get the fuck out of here. You don't think Comtown's funny either. Right. Oh, that show is not funny at all. Yeah, that's I'm crazy. trying to get on that show. Come on. It's fun. 
Yeah. Anyway, all I, right. I message Stavros every day. Uh, back to the kid. Uh, fucking I, I let me come. Uh, I, I wouldn't when when go you on said, the show if they begged me. When you said <laughs> trying to get on it, I thought you just meant listen to. No. You've been, you've been on I've every podcast. I've literally now never I mean listened to saying. a podcast in my life. The only podcast <laughs> I would go on is Red Scare. That's the only one I like. Yeah. What's Red Scare? He's too hot chick. They're hotter than you, by the way. I'm hotter than you, by the way. Go fuck <laughs> yourself, Terra Nova. I forgot your last name until this second. I just remembered it. You fucker. They're My both hotter than Karen. I don't know. Karen's uh, attractive in her own way. No. <laughs> in my own way. Uh, they're, they're, in her own sort of uh, had eight eight concussions kind yeah. of way. Thanks. Anna used to have uh, longer hair. I don't know. Anna well, who? I don't know if I like that haircut. Uh, she's the a host of Red Scare. What's her last name? Catchy. Catchy. Um, Catchy. Yeah, she, she's you. extremely uh, bright. Show. She's and, very bright. And yeah. funny. Yeah. And beautiful. All right. All right. Congrats. Um, is it about like you know, communism? Did you know that uh, we talked about this on last week's episode? But Italians usually prefer their mistresses to be like from a Slavic country because they, they, <laughs> like because they, they're slave like. Yeah, because they because <laughs> they want and, and still they white. Slavenly. They view them as lesser than. Right, right, right. They're still white, but they view them as right. lesser than. Okay. And like I can't uh, believe the other one's marrying Freeland. Freeland, what was it? Freeland. She's Freeland. really fucking. Uh, will she have cataracts? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Adam Freeland has a, a wife. Guy. He's getting he's engaged. engaged, and she's way out of his league. Would you agree? It's yeah. That Patreon money, babe. Yeah. What, what what would he get it? Like a third? I don't know. Probably I mean that after taxes, what's again? What is it? After taxes, it's like a job. Still yeah. Yeah, it's like it's, a job. It's a lot of money. It's like he works for he's like he's a bus depot guy. <laughs> right. No, it is. He's got the salary of a bus depot guy. No way. What does he get? Forty thousand after taxes? It's more it's Really? More, what are they getting two hundred altogether? Huh? After taxes, they split it three ways. They don't give uh, Nick takes the biggest cut. Yeah. So what's he giving? Well, he's like it's like, like fifty thousand. I mean, I make a lot more. How long than is that, that show gonna I'll last? I'll write down. I'll write down a number that Nick <laughs> said. Yeah, is slide it across the table. How show. long is that show gonna last? After Nick finally loses his marbles, okay, like that fucking kid has right. to get a real job. Yeah. All right, whatever. I'm the only person who tells the truth in this country. Loses <laughs> marbles. He's he's got. The guy's got a mental illness. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Oh, stop babying him. Well, stop stigmatizing <laughs> fucking people's problems. I'm just saying he's he's a fucking he's a he's a. He's a, he's, a, he's a hop, no, he's skip, a... and a jump away from losing his mind completely. Right, I'm saying, yes. what are the other two going to do? Savas is going to have to go laugh at somebody else's jokes. What does Nick struggle with? What does he have? A little bipolar? What does he have? A little what, depression? He's got bipolar or he's something. Short. Yeah. Anyway. He's <laughs> so hot. Nick Mullen's so hot. Really? Yeah. You ju- you just like guys that can help you. This is what that's this is what Adam got a few, nice a few arms. months ago. That, that's a, a few months ago? For yeah. the for, 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 for the month. For the month? Yeah. So he's making, he's pulling that a month. Yeah. So that's like uh, he's like a lawyer's salary. No, oh, that's a little different than bus depot, jerk off. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right. Anyway, Karen only likes guys. With Sarah good, Nova. She only likes guys who are doing good in the business. That's not mm-hmm. true. You probably see the Stavros. Right. No. Yes, Do you? you I, love, I love Stavros. So. You had to think about it. I mean, during a relapse, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked worse. <laughs> so many ugly comics fuck hot girls. It's ridiculous because most of the comics are ugly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I think right. the standards are just lower. I don't. You you don't have to be as attractive now as a guy. Now that's a list I could get, get behind. To pull a, to pull well, a nice. Right. If what? you did a list, of which comics are hot? Male comics are hot. <laughs> and they just everybody. You I know, already, like I everybody gets upset list. about I already, lists. I already did that list. You didn't. You yeah. did people that are hot. Yeah. Wow. I, I know who's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, Zach McGovern. <laughs> Jordan you Rainbow. don't have to go through them all. I got a list. Saying, yeah, yeah. Zach McGovern. He's handsome. He is. His forehead's a little big for you me. You wouldn't watch him in a porn, though, right? Because he's got hair. He's too old for me. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. I don't watch porn anymore, by the way. I gave it up completely. All porn. Michael oh, yeah. Jackson introduced those kids to porn, and then introduced he would masturbate them to them completely. <laughs> yeah, this is why it might, be, this, this is why it might not be kid. true. Yeah. In the transcript, uh-huh. in the transcript, <laughs> it said, Michael said, hey, he put on the porn. And one of the kids didn't want to watch. He walked out of the room. He said, "What are you doing?" He goes, "I don't want to see." He goes, "You're missing out on all this good pussy." Does that sound like something Michael Jackson would say? Say it. Say it. <laughs> You're missing out on this good, good pussy. pussy. <laughs> it sounds like he might have said it. Yeah. I don't think Michael Jackson used the word pussy. Uh, Just yeah. the way you said it to us, I was like, "No, he would never say he that." Also, but then the, I pictured his. He voice. also said they would listen to phone calls, and he'd be like, "Look at your mom yelling at your dad. Aren't women yeah. so evil?" Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, yeah. But it, it's so it's weird evil. that it seems like both the guys he molested they're not they're not gay. They're both they both have wives. Right. Mm-hmm. Which that's bizarre. I was molested. Yeah. Yeah. I told we talked about it before. Can we go into detail, cousin? please? It was, uh, I was mostly, uh, I was on a couple occasions by my cousin when I was six years old. Mm-hmm. Um, how old was well, your cousin? Well, we have to wrap up, no, guys. No, I need all this. <laughs> that's, that's, like, like, how that's old was your cousin? Like uh, when you 11, were six? 12. 11, yeah. 12. Mm-hmm. And yeah. what did he do? Or she, he? Uh, he? He, uh, like, he would like grind against me. So he had like an erection. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He'd make me touch his thing. He'd he touch fucking, his dick. He fucking. Uh, he this happened up. on multiple he, he occasions. Grabbed my thing. He grabbed yeah. you, but you were, couldn't get hard at six, right? Not really. 
Yeah, I don't remember. I don't you know. think I got hard. I remember when I first got hard. But did I don't you think tr- that was did it. you like him? Did you trust him, or you were like get get off? Me. Yeah, he, you he should... made it like we were playing a game. Yeah, and yeah. then I tell my mother about it, and she's like, "You're not sleeping over here anymore." Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my mom was like that too. Speaking of like protective, I told parents. my mother about it. She's like, "That spooks up to something." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should bl- you should count your blessings. You, your cousin wasn't like a famous singer. Yeah. <laughs> right. Your mom. <laughs> yeah, you have a Bill Moss bit mom. about Michael Jackson. He goes, yeah. he goes, I got beat up by Italian kids every day after school. They beat the ever loving shit of me. And if I could switch that out for getting softly patted and molested by a pop star, I would let Frankie Valley fuck me. <laughs> I would let Clean and Clear Water Revival fuck me. <laughs> I had a weird doctor. Like we, uh, uh, my sister and I both had scoliosis growing up. So mm-hmm. we went to this doctor and he was just like a little weird. And he like slapped me and my sister on the butt, like in like a, like, oh, you're all set. You're yeah, done the now. doctor, you're done way. Yeah. And my mom mm-hmm. was like, Never again. We never went back there. Mm, she yeah. was in the room. Mm-hmm. I had a, I mean, this is not, I don't know if I told the story in the podcast before, but uh, I had a herpes scare a few years ago and I went to urgent care and it was, there was a female doctor, female nurse. And they were like, I thought they were like ready to see my dick. So, cause they sort of like alluded to the fact. This is your fault. <laughs> like this is indecent <laughs> exposure. He just whipped his shirt up in his Yeah. Pants I, I started to whip my, <laughs> I started to whip my dick out like too, like too early. <laughs> And they both like backed away. You like, I'm sorry, them. I thought you're ready to look at my penis, <laughs> which is why I'm here. <laughs> they both backed away. They're like, all right. So they're like, they're like, we'll check it out and uh, we'll get back to him. Like, all right. And I started to unbutton my pants and they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyway, kind of like so. Like not even similar <laughs> the story. No, it's not. Well, it's a little less. You're an adult too, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. You know, Michael so Jackson. Like wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Michael Jackson's uh, family is uh, railing against this documentary. They very yeah, they're pissed. What do you think yeah. that is? You and think the they, estate. Do they believe he's innocent? They want I all his dead think money. You have yeah. to, I think you have to convince yourself that he's innocent. Right. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Right. Or I was telling Mike, you got to like recuse yourself, like Jeff Sessions did. And you, right. You're just right. Like, I can't. Be I, wanna, I want Janet to say something. She did. She said he's innocent. Is Latoya mm-hmm. alive? She doesn't care. She's alive. Yeah, I I did read somebody. I mean, somebody. Well, was I want to know what Tito him. has to say. <laughs> <laughs> somebody was defending him, and they were like, you know, he like he was a child. I I agree. Some inappropriate stuff happened, but there wasn't any. He's like, there wasn't any abuse. But and then I was like, what do you mean by inappropriate stuff? Right, did right. he fu- did he abuse a fucking kid or not? Remember what right. he said yeah, um, yeah. when he was being interviewed? They said, Michael, do you go uh, uh, take kids in your bed? And he's like, there's nothing more beautiful you can do than share your bed with a child. Right. Oh, I, I do remember Ish. that. He's like, yeah, we, oh, have hot, we have hot milk. I mean, can we watch the sun come up? He fucked the cancer kid, too. Like, that's low. Like, uh, that's gross. Oh, right. Boy. Gavin. Right, yeah. right, right. They're like, yeah, he thought he was like making his Wait, wish. Wait, is that part two? Yeah. Okay. I know. I, I had to watch part two. Right. No, I, I, said like, I, <laughs> I, like, I said I wanted. I remember when I wanted a pony. When, when, he, <laughs> when he died. <laughs> I said I wanted a Nerf gun. <laughs> When he died, they had a you can have my This is how weird Michael yeah. Jackson is. Yeah. He died. Yeah. And, you know, all the allegations and all the court cases had already happened when he died. He died. They had a televised funeral. Jimmy Fox hosted. Puff Daddy was dancing. Yeah, Staples Center. Yeah. Every fucking star got up there and talked about him. I'm like, you fucking enabling motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. You should all be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. Just well, like, here's- you know, uh, what's her name? Oprah called fucking uh, Harvey Weinstein God once. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you never know. I mean, but that's how these people, that's how these people like operate, I guess they have. I mean, that, that is a big part of it. You think Ben Affleck and and Matt Damon and Quentin Tarantino didn't know Harvey Weinstein was raping these bitches? Mm. They definitely know. Yeah. They all know. Yeah, it was like that open Yeah, but at the same secret. time, like, we all, so we all work in this industry. I don't know if anybody who's, I don't, I, I honestly, I can't say I know of anybody who's a predator that people know about that everyone's keeping it a secret. In comedy? Yeah, I can't right. think of a single person. But you would have, this to, is not say, a pow- have to say comedy that. Comedy is not a powerful knew. industry. It's a small time fucking it's not operation. A power- it is a small time operation. You're right. Yeah. It wouldn't even matter if somebody was raping girls in comedy. Who cares? It's like we're all losers. <laughs> but if <laughs> in New York, York, Hollywood, post-article. you got some respectable artists. <laughs> right. You know, you got, <laughs> right. We got right, Meryl so. Streep out there. Come on, have some respect. There's no Meryl Streep's in the open mics. I'm just glad no. everybody's still keeping my secret. Well, here's a little here's <laughs> who, here's who something here's something that somebody wrote that I saw on Facebook. It says Michael Jackson was monitored by the FBI for 13 years. His house was searched two times by more than 70 officers. Hundreds of kids were interviewed. Some were offered money. Nothing was found. He was tried for four months and found not guilty. Couldn't even get him on a misdemeanor. The reason we defend him is not because we are fans. We are fans because we have studied the depositions, <laughs> testimonies, and court documents instead of tabloid headlines. First accuser was caught on tape saying he wants money. The boy emancipated himself from his family and never spoke to them again. 
second case was filed with timeline contradictions and gaps. They had scammed other celebs like Jay Leno. Wade Robson and James Safechuck are proven liars who sued MJ Estate for money, but when their cases were thrown out of court, they decided to make a movie. Know your facts, fam. So... And I don't, I and that don't was, feel like there's any, and just I don't so know. you know Sometimes, what he just read that from. <laughs> uh, yeah, Simpsons meme. Sometimes, Simpsons meme, fucking grandpa Simpson Sometimes but let holding me ask, up a fucking sign with all that printed on the let side. Let me ask you this. Sometimes life is not all like logics and facts. Sometimes you do kind of have to use your emotions and your intuition and your instinct to, yeah. to come to a conclusion. And I, I have tr like trouble believing that both people are, manufacturing that detailed of a story well i know i think now i'm thinking both sides because like initially i'm like well like their stories are so similar they can't be lying yeah and i'm like their stories are There's so similar maybe they orchestrated it together i think it, but I then think they conned hbo too it, it just seems like it just children. seems like a long it just seems like a, a long, long way to go to get money to get money that's a lot of money though. but then again they're, they're they got into sundance they're both yeah. like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah. they're staying at his estate you know like there's pictures of them as children you know what and like even records of them being it? in the oh, room yeah. with them mm -hmm. even with if the he didn't lock. do it he shouldn't have been it. hanging out with kids it's it's not it's not normal to hang out with little kids yeah it's not it's when, not, when they're not your family mm -hmm. it's yeah. not not when you're a pop star you should be like fucking groupies yeah it's not kids yeah you know and every time he and everybody fucks he tried to who did michael jackson and fuck it Nobody. was not the kids. Can I tell you something? They tried Lisa to Marie no, he had, he, yeah. he, uh, he had sex Once. with Di he had sex with Diana Ross when he was a teenager. Did but he? they tried to make uh he tried to cover up his image. Mm -hmm. He goes, Yeah, I dated Tatum O'Neill. They interviewed Tatum O'Neill. She's like, I never dated Michael Jackson. Right. He said, Oh yeah, my girlfriend's Brooke Shields. She's like, I never went out with him. Right. Really? He did that a lot. Yeah. yeah, he used to make shit up. Mm. And Brooke Shields admitted to being on crack and, and making out with her own father. So why wouldn't she <laughs> <laughs> really? Why wouldn't she so why wouldn't she say that? When she was really <laughs> yeah, young, yeah. right? Fucked up shit happened to Brooke in a yeah. movie too, right? No, I'm talking about uh, Tatum O'Neill. Oh, but fucked up shit happened to Brooke Shields. Oh, Tatum O'Neill made out with her father. Man, have you ever seen <laughs> Paper Moon? She's a great actress. Paper Moon is so it's so good and she's in incredible. She in won it. You should it. Watch she won it. the Oscar. She won the Oscar. She was great in the band. But it's awesome. Bears. It's really, really good. You ever see the band Bears? No. Little White. Oh, kids? yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. They, also, yeah. they say the N word. Oh, they do, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah you're, look at Frank's face. It's just the latest. Smiling ear to yeah. ear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So refreshing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Anyway, well, guys, check out the Bad News Bears. Um, <laughs> oh, and also, I mean, here's here's like a little final thought. Uh, Karen, do you think you'll ever have children? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. Um, but uh, you know, like, I'm like, gonna have children. No, you're not. You're not capable. But I know my body can't take one to term. You're too old. Yeah. Fuck it'll you. be gonna, no, it's gonna be autistic. It'll be a mongoloid. That's cute. <laughs> a mongoloid. <laughs> That's you'll, cute. you'll have to bring it to your to shows like Christine Mia. Oh god, <laughs> retarded baby. It'll be like Basket Case. You ever seen that movie? Yeah. No. No. With, anyway. the, with the the mongoloid in the box. Oh no. That'll be her kid. She'll be like, yeah, here's my kid. He's in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, Thanks for having me. So no, but what but my <laughs> final my final question is: What do you do for a kid, right? When you are like like you have a kid, you got to tell them about pedophiles, right? You got to talk about pedophiles. I I do material about pedophiles and people, you know, people like tense up about it, but it's like if we don't, they're out there. So if we right. don't, it's they're like vampires. We talked about if that in my family growing them, up a lot. Yeah. Like my yeah. mom had. But nobody in my family ever said people want to fuck you. I, I guess because I was like an overweight child. Maybe like, yeah, he'll be fine. My dad, but, my dad, like chased kids like into the like these like punk teenagers. I think I was probably like seven or eight, but I was coming home from ballet and I had like just like my leotard on. Ooh. And I don't know what. Relax. <laughs> I don't know what they said. What color was the leotard? It was white. And you were how how old are you? It's like eight. And, and what color were the kids? Dirty. As long as we're all asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> there was no dog kids in the Yeah. But my dad chased these kids into the wood. he woods. He was running so fast his like tie flew behind him like a fucking cartoon. Yeah. And he didn't come back for like maybe like half an hour and he was like sweating and like all fucked up. I don't know what he did to these kids. But there, I, I just I was very protected as a child. I don't think mm -hmm. these kids were protected. Right. I don't think their parents can't, like loved them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That Why do you want to go with Michael Jackson? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get my bangs feathered, store. and you go get your little asshole licked. All right, bye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's also another part of me that goes, he, he's Michael's doing so much for these kids. Is it the worst thing? That, right. They you wouldn't know, have had a career without him. They got penetrated. Yeah. And Wade's sister, what a free Takes ride. Takes the toy she store, got. goes right? pick out whatever you <laughs> She's want. A fucking four, if I ever saw one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She just got to hang out at Neverland, and nothing bad nothing ever bad happened to her. Yeah. Fucking moose. She got lucky. <laughs> you got to pay the jackpot. 
<laughs> just being a just being a fat the fat sister of a kid who could dance. <laughs> Do your moves, Wade. I'm going to have another she's, Twinkie. Yeah, she just, she just ate Malamars while her, while her brother danced his ass off and got, got Five, molested. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, danced his little heart out and got fucked. Who are you texting, um, right? Anyway. I'm, not, I'm trying to figure out how to shut off the airplane mode. But how, how cool, I mean, can you imagine that going to a kid, like as a kid going to Toys R Us and Michael Jackson's like, pick out whatever you want, like he's your, your Italian grandmother. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My Italian grandmother used to take me to Toys R Us. I mean, whatever I wanted, nobody got fucked. Yeah. I I also just feel like, I don't know, is getting, I mean, you're a woman, is getting groped, are there, there's probably worse things than being groped, yeah. right? If the guy's doing stuff for you. Yeah. That's where I think we should leave it. <laughs> That's a big takeaway yeah. from this documentary. Yeah, like, what kind of rhetorical question is being that? groped. Yeah. How come there wasn't no song but in the beginning? Just, um, I forgot. You can I put it in post? Put one in. Maybe we'll put oh, it in post. Oh, yeah, maybe. I, have a song. Uh, okay. Which one? Uh, put in Can You Feel It by the Jackson 5. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks. Um, it's a good song. I, I'm sure it is. I like the Jackson 5. I don't like Michael Jackson. Right. I like his no, brother. So you when sort of Trump, like the Jackson 4. When, when Trump, when Trump <laughs> said, you're a, if you're a billionaire, you can just grab women by the pussy. Grab people by like, the pussy. People like lost their minds over that. Right. But then a, a few people, a few women that I knew were like, yeah, he's not. Deb even posted on, Deb posted on Facebook. She's like, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. I mean, I just think, yeah, there's a lot of fucking hoes out there and they like it. She posted that on Facebook. She said, there's a lot of whores yeah. out there and whores love celebrities. I think my price would be 50000 and then he could grab my pussy after that. You think, you're, you think your your hypothetical pussy is so good <laughs> that it takes 50000 No, 50, I'm saying like if, if I was like a lawsuit problem and How you wanted right to now? litigate it and throw money at it, yeah. 50000 you, okay. you'd have to walk away. All right. Yeah. I think I four grand I would get groped for. Yeah? Yeah. I'd do it what for about twenty bucks? <laughs> what about when you know you have a case? Matt, get my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all throw money in the pot. <laughs> Groping Karen. That's the just epi- just <laughs> episode sixty-seven. Just Groping Venmo Karen. Me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, any plugs? Check check out the uh, Terra Dome podcast available on iTunes. That's Frank's show. Check out uh, Karen's. Follow uh, me on Instagram if you're in New Jersey. I'm at Stress Factory tomorrow. It'll uh, be today, right? This is yeah Wednesday. Today? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Wednesday so tonight, to Stress, Stress Factory. Factory. Come out. Check out Karen's pay pig account. Whoop, whoop. My Venmo um, is on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at the Real Frankie T. That's where I'll be plugging my UK spots. Fine, I'll follow nice. you back. <laughs> you, well, you, you do follow me. Do I? Anything yeah. else? Any uh, any final thoughts or things? Just you leave the kids alone. You know, leave the kids alone. Let them yeah. fuck each Touch other. Them. You know? Did he do it? Yeah. Final thoughts. He did it. Probably sure. did it. Yeah, he did it for sure. All right. Well, he did it. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.